Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get every single secret rare vehicle in GTA 5 Online. And I'll be going over 13 different secret vehicles that you can find around the map of Los Santos and all of these vehicles except for two you can keep and store in any garage. Or you could also sell these vehicles because they don't sell for a lot of money but they definitely do sell for more than regular NPC vehicles. Anyway, if you enjoy the video or if it helps you out in any way, please do me a favor by going down below and dropping a like on it. But now let's get into the very first secret vehicle. Okay, so for the first secret vehicle, I'm going to be showing you how to find the Sentinel XS, which for this vehicle, there is two different versions of, as you can see. To find this secret car, you first of all need to head over to this exact location in West Vinewood at this exact street. Once you are on this street, you need to make sure that you are here between the times of 22 and 4 GTA time. And once you are on this street between the times of 22 and 4, as you can see my time is currently 23, all you then need to do is simply start driving up the street slowly and then slowly look over to the left. You should see one of the two sentinels spawn in. As you can see, I got the green one right now. And if you drove up the street and you didn't see any one of the sentinels spawn in, all you would have to do is drive 5 blocks away and then drive back and hopefully you would see the sentinel XS spawn in. If you don't, just repeat that process until you do see it spawn in. And I literally just did that exact same thing. After I found the green sentinel XS, immediately after I drove 5 blocks away, drove back and then take a look, I got the purple one to spawn in. And in my opinion, out of the two versions of the Sentinel XS's that you can find, I think the purple one is definitely the better looking one in my opinion, but yeah, you could either store these vehicles or you could also sell them, I think they sell for around 19k each. Okay, for the next secret vehicle, I'm going to be showing you how to find the Lifeguard Blazer, which this four-wheeler is pretty easy to find. What you first need to do is get any single regular four-wheeler like I'm in right here. I literally just found this one here at the beach. And then once you get a four-wheeler, go up and down the Vespucci Beach, driving past every single one of these lifeguard stands. And eventually, after going back and forth past every single one of these lifeguard stands, you should eventually see the Lifeguard Blazer spawn in right beside one of these lifeguard stands. Once you do see it spawn in, it is literally as simple as you getting on top of the four-wheeler lifeguard and then driving it away. As you'll see, you will get some cops on you, so simply lose the cops. And then once you lose the cops, you can drive it over to a garage and then store it inside. So since I just showed you how to find the lifeguard blazer, it is only fair that I show you after how to find the, the Class A lifeguard, which is this truck right here. To find this truck, it is pretty simple. What you need to do first is head over to this exact location on the map here at the Del Piero Beach where the lifeguard station is located at. Once you get over here to this exact location, you need to make sure that you are inside of the De Classe lifeguard already. So this can either be yours that you own or it can also be a friend's. Anyway, once you are in the lifeguard, slowly drive up to the lifeguard station and you should see two more De Classe lifeguard trucks right here spawned in front of the lifeguard station. So now all you need to do is simply hop out of your lifeguard and then hop inside of one of these other lifeguards. Once you are inside of one of these De Classe lifeguards, all you need to do is drive it over to a garage and then save it inside. Alright, so for the next secret vehicle, I'm going to be showing you how to find one of the more popular secret vehicles in the game, which is called the Mariachi Tornado. To find this vehicle, what you first First need to do is head over to this exact location that I'm at right here on the map here in the Chiliad Mountain State Wilderness but make sure you're at this exact location on this exact road. Once you go over to the location it should look exactly like this so what you need to do is first of all whip out a sniper and then aim directly here in front of you. You should see a cliff right here in front of you so if you see that cliff perfect. What you need to do next is hop on your motorcycle or if you're not on a motorcycle basically make sure that your camera angle is looking this direction towards the Mount Chiliad Mountain. Once your camera angle is looking towards towards the Mount Chiliad mountain area, what you next need to do is make sure that you are here before the time of 19 in-game GTA time. As you can see right now, it is 18 in-game GTA time, which is a perfect time to be here. Then what you need to do is wait until it turns 19. As you can see, it just turned 19 right now. And I like to wait a few seconds after it does turn 19. And then once you've waited a few seconds, what you then need to do is turn around and then aim in with your sniper. You should see the tornado and also some cop cars behind it. Just keep in mind, as soon as you aim in with your sniper, the mariachi tornado is going to start driving off of the cliff, so you need to be very fast and snipe the driver. Once you did snipe the driver, it is pretty much as simple as you going over to the vehicle, getting inside of it, and now you can simply save the vehicle for yourself. 
Just make sure you are very careful if you do end up falling down this cliff like I did because if you fall incorrectly and you don't land on your wheels, you definitely will explode and trust me, you will not be happy. But as long as you did not explode, after you did get this vehicle, you can simply drive it over to a garage and then save it. And the reason they call this the Mariachi Tornado is because as you can see in the back seat, there is a pair of two Mariachi guitars in the back and also a Mariachi hat. So it's a pretty cool and unique vehicle. I definitely recommend getting it if you don't have it already. And the next secret vehicle I'm going to be showing you how to find is the hearse. And this one is actually really simple to find. The only thing about it is you do need a hearse to find it. So what you need to do to get a hearse if you don't already own one is to simply enter inside of your arcade and then start the diamond casino. Once you start the diamond casino heist, go over here to your prep board and then go over to where it says security pass and start the security pass level two mission. You need to make sure that you get this exact mission though where it tells you to go to the Hill Valley Church. If it doesn't have you go over to the Hill Valley Church, I recommend finding a new session and then starting the mission over again and repeating the process until you get this exact mission. Once you do start the mission though, all you need to do is head over to the church and then once you are over there, you simply need to take out the two guards that are guarding the hearse. Once you take out those two guards, simply get inside the hearse and then drive away two blocks. Once you drove two blocks away from here, drive back over in front of the church and you should see two more hearses spawn in in the parking lot. So from here, get out of your hearse and then hop inside of one of these other hearses. Once you are in this other hearse though, what you need to do is get a sticky bomb and then place it on the other hearse that you were just inside of. Once you place it on that hearse, drive away and then explode it. Once you exploded it, you'll now see the mission has ended and all you need to do now is simply drive this hearse over to a garage and then save it. For the next secret vehicle, I'm going to be showing you how to find the really cool modded Sand King XL and there's two different versions of these. To find this truck, it is pretty simple. What you first need to do is head over to this exact location right here, right in front of the arm wrestling at this exact parking lot. Once you are over here, I recommend calling out a Sand King XL or if you don't own one already, you can simply find one in the area. Once you are inside of the Sand King XL though, what you then need to do is drive all the way down this road, all the way in front of the supermarket. Once you are in front of the supermarket like I am here, do a U-turn and then drive all the way back. Once you are all the way back, drive slowly and then check the same parking lot. If there is still no modded Sand King XL, do the same thing over again. And that's basically all you are doing, driving back and forth until this truck does spawn in in this exact parking lot because trust me, it will eventually as long as you are in a Sand King XL. And as you can see right here, I got one of the versions of them, which is an all orange version with white rims. Once you find any one of the versions of the Sand King XL, it is really easy to get the other one. All you would need to do is drive once again all the way in front of that supermarket and then drive all the way back and chances are you should get the other version right away after. As you can see, this is the other version of the modded Sand King XL, which this one is no white rims, but it also does have a really cool paint job. This one is a little bit different than the orange one though. This is like a really cool blue with a cool pink pearlescent. But yeah, really cool trucks that you can get for free and you can also sell them for around $19,000. For the next secret vehicle, I'm going to be showing you how to find the police bike and sadly you cannot save this vehicle but it is a really cool one to drive around. Make sure once you are over here though that it is between the times of 11 and 13 in game GTA time and once it is in between those two times, enter inside the convenience store and then whip out a gun that way you get a 1 star wanted level. Right after you get the 1 star wanted level, exit the store and then hop on a motorcycle and drive directly behind this ammunition store and park right on top of this arrow. Then just wait here until you get a cop icon appearing on the left side of you. Once you see that cop icon on the left side of you, it should start driving away from you. That is how you know you 100% found the police bike. So from here, drive over to that cop icon and you'll see the police bike. Simply take out the officer and boom, just like that, you have the bike. But like I said, you cannot save this police bike. The only thing you can do is drive it around the map and show it off to your friends. But honestly, I think that is still pretty cool because this is literally the only way you can find the police bike in GTA 5 Online. And once you get it, you can drive it as long as you want to, as long as you are in this session. For this next secret vehicle, once again, it is going to be a police vehicle, so you cannot save it, but it is going to be pretty cool to drive around. But this vehicle is the FIB Buffalo. To get this police vehicle to spawn, all you want to do is go over to the interaction menu and then hit your Securo serve and then go over to where it says VIP work and then start the VIP work right here called Hostile Takeover. Once you start this, make sure the location for it is set to LSIA. Once you set the location to LSIA, you can simply start it from here and you'll see once you start it, it'll have you go over to one of the hangars in the airport. 
So from here, head over to the hangar and you'll see inside that hangar is the FIB Buffalo. All you have to do is simply take out all of the police officers that are near it and then get inside of the FIB Buffalo. And just like that, you now have the police vehicle. Like I said, you cannot save this FIB Buffalo, but it is a pretty cool vehicle to be driving around and you can also show it off to your friends. And as long as you were in this session, you can be driving it around. For these next secret vehicles, I'm going to be showing you how to find both versions of all three of the gang lowriders in GTA 5 Online. So here's the exact location where both versions of the Vagos lowriders spawn in. Then this location right here is where both versions of the Balos lowriders spawn in. And then over here is where both versions of the Grove Street Families gang lowriders spawn in. Now that you know all of the locations for where the gang lowriders spawn in, what you next need to do is put yourself in a busy public session. Once you are in a busy public session, all you have to do is drive up and down each one of those streets until you eventually find one of the lowriders. Which trust me, as long as you are in a public session and it is daytime, you will eventually find the lowriders pretty fast. As you can see, I just drove down this Vago street and I found one of the versions of the lowriders for the Vagos gang. Keep in mind, all of the lowriders are the same for each gang. They are just different colors. But yeah, this is the first version of the Vagos gang lowrider. You can see it is an actual lowrider because you'll see in a second, the second lowrider is not really that much of a lowrider type of car. And then here is the second version of the Vagos gang lowrider. As you can see, this is not really a lowrider, but it is a tornado in the color yellow, of course, the Vagos gang color. And then here are the two versions of the Grove Street gang lowriders as you can see like I said they are literally the exact same vehicles but they are just a different color but yeah literally the exact same process all you have to do is drive up and down the Grove Street gang street and then eventually you'll find both versions of the lowriders and sometimes when you are looking for these gang lowriders there will be somebody inside the vehicle if there is all you have to do is walk up to the vehicle and yank them out as you can see for this Bala's lowrider that I just found there was actually somebody inside so I just had to yank them out and then boom, just like that, I now have the vehicle. But yeah, just keep in mind, these gang lowriders will not always just be parked somewhere. Sometimes there will be somebody driving them that you have to yank them out of. For the next secret vehicle, I'm going to be showing you how to easily find both versions of the rare rat loader in GTA 5 Online. To get the rat loader to spawn in, what you first need to do is head over to this exact Los Santos Customs on the map over here in Polito Bay. Once you are over here, you need to make sure that you are here between the times of 11 and 13 in-game time. So once you get over here to this Los Santos Customs, that corner right there is exactly where the rat loader will spawn in once we do get it to spawn in. But what you first need to do is memorize this exact route that I'm taking here because this is the route that you need to take. That way you can actually go far away from the location and then come back. That way the rat loader can possibly spawn in if you get lucky. Which as you can see, I got lucky right here on my second run following that exact route that I just showed you. And then I got one of the versions of the rat loaders to spawn in. As you can see, this version of the rat loader is the yellow version and this version is really clean because you can see this color definitely pops out super bright and it also has the bright white wheels. A really cool rat loader though, I wouldn't say this is the rarer version because the other second version of this rat loader is probably a little bit more rare, I'd say it's a little bit harder to get to spawn in. But following that exact route that I showed you earlier, I got it to spawn in without having any problems whatsoever right after I found this one. As you can see, this second version is not really too different, it is just a green version basically. It does have a little bit more of a different trunk bed upgrade, and of course the exhaust is different, but it still has the nice pure white rims, and this color is also really nice if you ask me as well. And this isn't 100% guaranteed, but apparently if you use a rat loader to find this rat loader, you'll find it really really fast. Alright, and now getting into the very last secret vehicle of today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to find the Dubsta 2, which is honestly one of the coolest looking secret vehicles. What you first need to do is come over here to this exact LS Customs here in the middle of the map, and then once you are over here, you need to go over to your contact list and then call Miss Baker. Once you call Miss Baker and she picks up, you'll see you have three different options at the top left. The option that you want to choose though is the car service option. Once you select this option, you'll see you have a whole bunch of different cars to choose from. So the car you want to choose is of course the Dubsta. Once you select the Dubsta, you'll see now it spawns in right next to you. 
So from here, go over to the dubsta and then go inside of it. Once you are inside the dubsta, all you want to do is drive it over here inside the parking lot of the LS Customs. Once you're inside this parking lot, all you want to do is drive and ram every single car that you see parked inside this parking lot. And then boom, just like that, once you have rammed every single car in this parking lot, what you next need to do is exit this exact way. Once you exit this exact way, all you want to do is basically follow the exact route that I'm going here. I'm basically going five blocks out away from the LS Customs and then I'm coming right back. But make sure you are following exactly what I'm doing here because this exact route that I'm showing you right now is basically the fastest way to get back over to the LS Customs. Once you get back over to the LS Customs though, next what you need to do is go back over to the parking lot and then check if there is the Dubsta 2. If there is still no Dubsta 2, what you need to do is that same process once again. So literally just ram all the cars, you don't have to ram them super hard, but once you rammed all the cars, follow that exact route once again and then check the parking lot and just keep doing that exact same process until you eventually get the Dubsta 2. Also, this can potentially take you a very long time. It is really completely random. Just keep in mind, you are not going to be getting the Dubsta 2 on your first few tries. It is definitely going to take you at least over 10 minutes. But trust me, once you end up finding the Dubsta 2, it is well worth it because take a look at this secret vehicle. It is an amazing and very unique looking secret vehicle. As you can see, it is basically an all gold Dubsta. Pretty cool if you ask me, I definitely wouldn't even sell this if I were you guys because this vehicle is so unique and also really rare so if you drive this around in GTA 5 online, people are definitely going to know you spent a long time trying to find this vehicle. But yeah, that is now going to be the end of today's video. Now you know how to get 13 different secret rare vehicles in GTA 5 online and also how to find them all the fastest way possible. Anyway, if you went on to enjoy today's video and you still haven't already, please do me a favor by going down below and dropping a like on the video. And of course, if you aren't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. That way you don't miss out on any future GTA videos just like this one. But until next time, I will see you all in my very next GTA 5 Online video. Peace.